So how in the world did I, a blind guy, end up cutting someone's hair? Oh, oh, whoa, no. Oh, wow. Oh. Let's go. Is it taking hair off? Yeah, it is. It's, it's but it's hair. not taking confidence off. More specifically, how did I end up cutting Bean's hair on Eric's YouTube channel? Your yeah. technique is flawless. Just, I gotta find out where your ears are. You got ears? Oh, right. yeah, right there. Two uh, ears? Yes, two, All right? Well, I was contacted by one of his guys who said, we need a blind guy to cut hair for a Would You Rather episode. I wouldn't let me cut anybody's hair. I wouldn't even let you get me get near me. Like scissors? Scissors or like a <laughs> shaver thing. No way, Jose. And I got scared. Like, I don't know how to cut hair. Plus, I'm blind, but I did agree. So the first thing I did was went down to my own barber, David, and learned how to do some stuff like how to use a straight edge. And that's the sharp side? That's the sharp side. That's the side you don't right, want can to Can I cut. try? On, no? <laughs> oh, on me? Yeah. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> he also taught me the clippers, of course. Well, so there's a little switch right here that you use your thumb yeah. to click up and down. All right, so that's on and off. Which down, is... down, down, down. Okay. That's on. All right. Okay. And then, oh, it's facing me, so. Uh-huh. There's the blade. Don't slide yeah, your finger yeah. over okay. there. Okay, so this is the uh, blade. Okay. So that's it. What, like a, that's that's a zero. That, like, that's take their hair lot. off. There's nothing there. It's going to take your hair pretty much down to almost nothing. Very, very small stubble. They probably don't want that. But even at the end of all that extension, of training, I did not feel very confident. I'm just gonna like run more of these people. Well, I think that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> so we left our little quiet beachside spot in San Diego and went up to Los Angeles. LA is noisy. And we actually went straight to Eric's house. And now, for all the people who see me here in this booth or see me walking around familiar areas and like, hey, you don't look blind when you're walking around, this is what it's like for me when I go to a completely new and unknown place. Should I grab my, should I grab my stick or just follow you? Just follow me. All right, I'll just follow you. Yeah, it's just a, a cup of blue. Uh, so there's a car right here on the left. Yeah. It just gets straight behind me. Follow my left shoes. Put them in his grass so you won't be able to hear. <laughs> so I'll just keep talking. Okay. okay. So we're, we're at a house? Yeah. We are at, we are at the Iraq house. All right. So. This is like our high house where we all work and a lot of people live. Nice. It all okay. goes down so go, here. Go right, Pete? Yeah. I don't know why I'm leaving. And then there's like. Well, you know where you're going. Yeah. Just walk straight. <laughs> walk straight. Thanks. Gonna let, I'm going to let you lead us in. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Thanks. All right, there's <clears> a step right here. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Max, this is Pete, he's a barber. Pete, how's it going? How's it going? How are you? Good, Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for having us up. Yeah, hey, thanks for coming. Now, once we got inside, remember all that training my barber David gave me with all the tools of the trade? <laughs> well, that's not actually what I had to work with here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then, other than that, you know, bring funny and uh... Dude, this is a beer trimmer. Uh, well, <laughs> that's like short. Yeah. Someone's getting a whiffle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't, it's not my well, yeah. <laughs> And with that tool in my hand, that's when Eric came in and introduced his crew to me. Uh, professional surfer, not so professional barber. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna make up some skills, but I, I have not. <laughs> it's okay. Now, the other surprise to me was, I thought these guys knew they were getting their hair cut by me. I was unaware that I had to sell them on my skills, of which I had none. But I quickly realized that's what was going on and did my best. Uh, you never cut hair before? Uh, no, no. I went to my barber last week and he explained the whole thing to me. But, but, he let him explain it. There's, there's good news. This is actually not meant for cutting hair. As far as I can tell, this is a beard trimmer. And I have trimmed my beard. Okay. Dude, oh, Tyler yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has the actual beard in his eyes. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. For a while, I didn't think any of the guys were actually gonna let me touch their hair. Again, I thought I was coming up here specifically to cut the hair. I had no idea that I was supposed to be pitching, and I was kind of afraid that I didn't do a great job until, thank goodness, Baines finally said he was down. You seem overqualified enough for me, so let's get this thing going. Nice! Yes. Now, before the haircut was going to begin, which I was not very confident in doing, I wanted to do something I was confident in doing, and that was a voiceover for a made-up movie trailer that I was doing right there on the fly. In a world where one man named Bean King isn't afraid to get his hair cut by a blind man, will he stay still or will he flinch? Stay tuned. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that's actually professional. I feel like you're good at everything 
blood giving haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. That's I mean, what he actually does for a living. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And this is where I finally got to feel what I'd be cutting. That's why he's not worried. He's like, uh, I'm young, my hair will grow back. Then the cutting or clipping finally began. Make a Even pattern. you have like a mirror in front of you at the barbershop, I have no idea what's happening. That's probably for the best. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, so there we go. Now we're doing design. Make a oh, rotary. Oh, now we're doing design. Oh, oh, oh. Could you give me like a number eight in the side of my head? I'm going to leave the top up here. I'm going to leave the top. All right. I like the top. I'm like a little <laughs> duck. <laughs> a little cute duck. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, all right. I can feel that the... This is beautiful. I, I'm like addicted to this. I want to do this. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to just keep going. Just nah. keep shaving. Right? I don't know. I think that's probably beautiful. From what I'm feeling, oh, this feels good. Yeah. I like Anybody it. got a mirror? Um, bro, honestly, I haven't seen this side yet. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the side. They got a lot worse on this side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he gave you like, like I Oh, no, it didn't, it didn't get worse. There's more art on that side. <laughs> I felt like my hair cutting was actually going great, better than expected. Although in the background, at the same time, Eric was getting a tattoo from a blindfolded tattoo artist. And from what I could hear, that wasn't going as great. You're going through the middle. You want to go further to the left. Further to the left. All right. Oh, wow. Of course. Oh, yeah. That uh, is not going great. <laughs> that is not going great. Did the haircut come out good in the traditional sense of the word? I mean, probably not. You can see more of that, plus everything else that went on in this big, huge episode on Arax YouTube channel. But for my part, at the end of this thing, because I knew I did butcher Bean's head, I actually did give him one of the limited edition hats that you see me wearing around town when I'm outside of this booth. It says, find a way in the little surfboard logo. And more importantly, I thought it would cover up the haircut I gave him. And I also used the opportunity to rip the other guys a little bit who are too afraid to let the blind guy cut their hair. Thank you so much. That's the motto, that's the motto of my channel, find a way. Just kind of whatever obstacles are holding you back, find a way to, you know, not be a to get your hair cut. You know. I love it! He's a hot guy too, so. Yeah, this guy. He's gonna need it. Yeah. I thought that was a perfect gift for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a very no, no, no. I'm not wearing that ever again. I'm gonna let this grow back like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look like a disheveled scientist. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome.